Hello Pisces, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon people! This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting July 31st, 2017. And a quick reminder for all you Pisces people out there, remember that if you have made a purchase of the Tarot Home Study course, um, I'm going to be adding some extra material to it at the end of this weekend, Sunday evening going into Monday. So if you're interested in hopping on board with that, you can, you know, make sure to check those Dropbox links that you got um, in your emails, either with your purchase or the ones that I sent out afterwards that week after, <laughs> you know, all the tech support fun. Um, and if you want to get a copy of the Tarot Home Study course, or just simply get a session with me, you can go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. So, excuse me. So, <laughs> what's going on with your astrology this week? Well, on Sunday, going into Monday, We've got Venus in Gemini, in your fourth house of home and family, forming a lovely sextile connection to, Ari to Uranus, currently in Aries, in your earned income sector. And it seems like there's going to be a breakthrough on the home front or with your home schedule that actually allows you to earn some extra coin, or perhaps some kind of restriction when it comes to you being able to do what you want with the home, or maybe some kind of restriction when it comes to working where you want or living where you want, we may actually find a loophole in order to get through that, to move away from that energy, and to be able to actually kind of either relocate ourselves, relocate our work, or possibly simply, again, get this limitation out of the way to have more time and availability for it. However, this Venus is also forming a very strong square to Chiron in your sign. And this may actually be something that you're worried about um, kind of maybe rubbing somebody the wrong way, you know, because Chiron is making you need to think about, you know, are we, you know, doing too much people-pleasing right now? Or maybe we've gone the opposite direction, the pendulum is still unbalanced on the opposite side, and, you know, we're not thinking about other people at all. You know, we're not really, you know, this square is basically saying we do need to take into account how other people are going to feel or feel the effects of this thing. Doesn't mean we can't do it, but we definitely don't want to be either here or here on the pendulum, because here is balance. So, later on in the week, we've got Jupiter in Libra, in your 8th house of shared resources, passive income, and your self-employment income, forming a very strong square to Pluto, currently retrograde in your past, your privacy, and your hidden zone. And a breakthrough when it comes to an, an, a work opportunity, or an income opportunity, or possibly even an intimacy opportunity, given the 8th house rules that as well, um, puts you in close proximity to an influence from your past, that you may feel that you really don't know how you feel about this person or this situation. You may love them dearly, or you may not love them at all, but whatever this opportunity is, it kind of brings you in orbit of them. And there may be a chance for a good reunion, or perhaps at least a chance to bury the hatchet with this person or this situation and, you know, and close it up for good if that's what you want to do. Um, either way, that just because this influence is there doesn't mean you should turn down a big break chance. So what's going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Water Dragon, upright. And this is talking about a need to pay attention to emotional availability, yes, but also emotional generosity. Okay, when it comes to emotional generosity with the Water Dragon, you know, the Water Dragon talks about the power behind raw emotion. And raw emotion doesn't necessarily have to be unbridled, out of control, dangerous and destructive. Raw emotion still, it, it could still actually be extremely um, healing, extremely beneficial, extremely good at manifesting your desires. But if you don't have emotional availability or emotional generosity for that which you're trying to create, it's not going to actually put any energy out there. You know, that's one of the fundamental rules of magic. You know, magic isn't an intellectual endeavor. It's about emotion and energy. So you can't really do anything if you don't have emotional availability for it. Um, and this card is talking all about paying attention to that. We can't go out and try and manifest a new job if we know we don't want to work. We can't go out and manifest a new lover or a new love opportunity if we're not, if we're still hung up on our ex, or we like our alone time too much. So it's important to pay attention to that emotional generosity, emotional availability, and what is there this week. Because there's no need putting yourself through a bunch of crap if you really don't care after all, and you're only doing it because you think you should. And it may also give the answer to why we maybe we're not getting something, even though we think we really like it. 
So what's going on with your Earth sector? When it comes to your work in finances, we've got the Five of Wands upright. And again, um, it looks like work is actually going to be extremely busy this week. We may actually be noticing um, higher sales or higher activity, heightened activity in, in terms of possible hours and overtime more so than we've had in recent weeks and months. But the Five of Wands upright is indicating that this is starting to crowd with our availability with other things and other people. And the same thing could go with the new prospect put on the table this week. The Five of Wands upright does indicate that this will actually take up more space on your personal, on your, on your personal pie chart than you thought you would have to allot for, you know, for this new job or this new project. However, is it worth it? Yes, because this does feel like a highly competitive work opportunity or a highly competitive activity that will actually yield uh, faster benefits and faster rewards and awards, especially if those are the things you're looking for right now. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, got the Emperor card reversed. There may be some news about somebody dropping the ball this week, um, and this may be somebody who shares authority with you, or perhaps somebody who actually is an authority figure with you. And when I see the Emperor card reversed, I do see somebody who is not, um, either they're not as prepared, or they something has slipped their mind, they are not actually doing as good a job as they thought, they um, maybe bit off more than they could chew, and this could be a situation that could cause problems down the road just because, again, it was not, it was flawed from the ground up. When I look at the Emperor card reversed, I think of, you know, again, if this is somebody we put in a lead position, you know, like a co-captain or whatever, he or she may not necessarily have been cut out for it. Maybe we were just being, you know, we were just doing something nice and, you know, we didn't mean it to go this way. Um, the Emperor card reversed, however, could show up as a boss. You know, again, or a landlord or somebody who is in charge of either doing this with you or doing this for you even if they're your boss. There's something dropping the ball here, so be, be prepared to uh, handle it. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Eight of Wands, upright. Everything this week seems to be taking off extremely quickly. There is nothing that starts slow. And that might not actually be a challenge. Some of you may actually be very happy to hear that. Some of you may be feeling like things have been going at a bit of a slog this last week or so. And so I think a lot of you may actually be quite happy with this news. The, the challenge though that comes with the Eight of Wands upright is that things may be taking off faster than you want them to when you're the one putting them forward, okay? There's also going to be a situation happening here where you may be noticing um, a lot of time and energy is spent dialoguing more than doing, okay? And when we look at dialoguing more than doing, that might sound kind of weird. It's always good to have clear communication. But if you've ever had those kinds of situations show up where, you know, a person would rather talk about something that you could be solving right then and there, but they'd rather you sit and talk to them about it, that's the kind of problem we have, <laughs> you know. So that could be the issue with the, this Emperor reversed. This could be the issue um, that could be going on with, again, things getting more competitive at work. Again, it's a runaway train that you can master and take care of, which could be very, very nice. But, at the same time, the, you know, the, the Eight of Wands upright could also talk a lot about, you know, again, if things get, if, if this, this gets carried away just because you set it in motion, people can get carried away too. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And this does indicate that some of you Pisces people may actually be deciding you've had it this week with somebody that you've been dating, okay? This is not a breakup card, uh, for instance. This is one of those cards that I look at, you know, and, you know, I, I, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, I, I kind of look at this as like, this. You're, you're dropping something you can drop easily, okay? This is not like a breakup or a divorce card, absolutely not, and I would never ever assume something like that during a general horoscope. But when it comes to the purposes of dating, playing the field and things like that, the Seven of Pentacles reverse says you may have had your fill with somebody this week, and you actually may have an alternative to move on to, which makes you drop the person you're talking to, or the person you've been kind of flirting around with. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Seven of Pentacles reversed is, again, a very, very different kind of energy. And I do see you two actually dropping something, but it's a unified decision to drop or abandon um, something that you guys have both been carrying together. Now, this may be to the disappointment or the chagrin 
of the person you've been doing this for. Maybe we no longer want to store this stuff for our adult child. Maybe we no longer want to let, you know, the neighbor park their car on our lawn. Maybe we simply just, you know, maybe we are tired of treating an adult like a child. Or whatever this is. Whatever we both are getting rid of, it may be something that we have been doing for somebody out of the goodness of our hearts. But we may drop it nonetheless. And that's okay too. Alright? So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.